Hello everybody, Bill Thornton, SoCal Saver here. How you all doing today? Or tonight, whenever you're watching this, whatever. Thank you for stopping by the channel. And I'd like to, uh, again, thank all my recent subscribers and all you old time subscribers that have been with me for almost two years now. So today I'm going to be doing a demo, as I promised, on Hockey Bones, the, the board game. This will not be a tutorial. I'll show you a few things and then I'll show you how to the action plays and so up. <coughs> Let's go down to the board and take a look. And here we have, I'm not going to be keeping score or stats like shots or anything like that today. It's just a demo of how the game plays. We've got the 74-75 Buffalo versus 74-75 Boston over here. Uh, a lot of the things that you'll almost, almost all of this game <coughs> is from this chart right here and there's a lot of stuff going on and some people would look at this and go oh my goodness gracious what is all this I'll try to show you a little bit closer up look at all of that see there's columns across the top and rows down the left and that'll be what we're looking for when we look at the dice <clears throat> the blue die will be for the column the white die will be for the row, and then the red die is used for some other things, which I'll explain if we if we get to use them. So <clears throat> everything's on the chart, even the face-offs and everything, and I'll show you a few things in that. So on the face-offs, all these pawns, pawns you see up here, uh, they don't come with the game. They're mine. I use this purple one to keep sort of score. Uh, I use this black one for the puck. And I use these on penalties, yellow for Buffalo, white for them, so I can put them on the sheet to keep track of where they are. Uh, as, far as, the, the, as far as the timing goes, it's broke up in 24 seconds. And each second is read when we're reading off of a card. So like if you're doing, a, a, after you do a shot, you don't do it. Or if you, when you're doing a face-off, you don't do it. So on a face-off, we only roll the three dice. We roll... Okay, so we got two, eight. And then we go to this face-off chart here. We look at two, eight, and it is in the orange. That means the visitor center has got it. If it was in the black, it being the home team. I'll call Boston the home team. And uh, there's some other symbols on there I'll explain as if we get to them. Let me check, maybe I'm wrong there. Two, eight. If that uh, orange C had had an AA next to it, that, even though it was orange, that would have meant Esposito won it. So, Gilbert Perot has won the faceoff. Now we're going to go to, I do it before I do it so I don't forget. Some people do it afterwards. I'm going to put it there because we're going to Perot's card to read his card now. Okay. So we're going 2, 10. I go down here and it's a P. And I look up at my chart and it says, if the number, which is a plain P, is greater than the intimidation bars. And there are, there's one intimidation bar. So it is not greater than. And so it is an interception. And we look at the six, we go to Perot's card, and it was <clears throat> intercepted by the left wing, Don Marcotte. There's a couple guys out here that are pretty proficient with this game. So if anybody sees things that I do wrong, please put it in the comments and let me know. Because this is, this is where I am at this learning curve per se probably the biggest thing that gets me confused at this point in time are the penalties but maybe we won't get to them so now we're going to be looking at Don Marcotte's card so I'm going to be moving that over to the 48 second mark picking up my dice and dropping them in there and we're going 6-9 on Marcotte's card 6-9 is an I which means that look up at my chart it's going to be a defense. There's some other stuff with that I, but it's only if you're on, like the S is only going to, if you're doing pressure offenses, and I'm not doing pressure offenses. And so it's a defensive faceoff right there. <clears throat> Go back to the faceoff. I look at my faceoff chart, 1 8. And this is, here's the example. Oh, it's power play. It's going to go to the left D. And Right away, I gotta look something up because there could be a shot. I gotta check this. Okay, so I'm gonna left D. So we're gonna go to Fogelins. 
And now, if Oakland's thing turns up to be a number, uh, there's a possible shot because of the defensive. Uh, they're down here in this end here. So, Oakland, we're looking at 6 3. And 6 3 is another. Oh boy, I got this one going good, don't I? Another defensive faceoff. This time it's down here. So, we're going to do another faceoff here. Look up at my chart. 2 3. And it's going to the right wing. Now, they're down here this time, so now if his becomes a number, it could be a shot. Okay, we're looking at 1-8. One 1-8, eight. One eight, it says H-9. i got to get this hat off so it don't get in your camera way. H-9. So when I look up here, H-2 through H-9, I'll try to show you a few things. H-2 through H-9. Shot. If it's equal or greater than the team defense and home. Well, they make, they make the first criteria that they are home. I said it was a nine. So on the team defense for this guy, right wing coming down here, we had two, these are the defensive numbers, four, five, minus one. That's just a formula that they work, so it'd be a four. So that nine is greater <clears throat> than that. And so it is going to be a shot <clears throat> for uh, Hodge. We're going to roll all again. We're looking at his uh, uh, shot range, which is 2 through 6. You can see this 5 through 9 is way higher. So it's out of range, So and it's not blocked. So we're going to go here from 310, and we're going to look in Bromley's card, 310. And because it's in, I'll show you this. 310. <coughs> It's in the lowercase LD. If it had been uppercase, Fogelin would have got it. But because it's lowercase, <clears throat> the offensive team gets in as Bobby Orr. You know, and I forgot to do Hodge's card. So we're going to go here, and then we're going to go here. Bobby Orr, <clears throat> we're looking at his card. I forget to do these things when I'm trying to talk. 5 7. And that's an H which means it's a shot if it is at home. He's at home. Or it's going to take a shot. All this is happening in that same 24-second period. Okay, we're looking at his 2-6-1 on his shot index. 2-4, that means it's in range. This would be a possible goal. <coughs> okay, so we're going to Bromley's. 2-10. 2, 10, and it says RWG in capital letters. That means that is a goal, and they have just scored. All right, so we got over to here to this two-minute mark. You can barely see it, but I think you can trust me. It's right here, and we got to change, <coughs> change lines. Okay, and I should have mentioned that after a goal is scored, there's a process that you go through to award assists if there's any assists. <coughs> And so, and by the way, these are the PDF cards that came. I printed them out. They are not rounded corners. I did that myself. But uh, PDF, pretty cool. I got a really nice set of 1992-93 of <clears throat> from drive through games. Okay, so here, we just scored a goal. We're going back here now for another face-off at center ice. 5-7. <clears throat> I look up at my chart. He's got an A, so it could be an A, but he's got the double A. So we're going to 5-7. And it's no either one of them, so Sean Field <coughs> gets that. So we're going to move this over to here. The Sean Fields <coughs> at the 24 second. We're going to look at Sean Fields' card. Two, nine. Now that's a six. Now we're going to do this defense again. I'm pretty sure that's what it is. Let me look here. Yeah, it'll be a shot if it's more than that. So we're going to go. <coughs> what we're doing is you got to go against this, because he's on this side, you go against the center, the left wing, and the left D, and that's nine. That six is not greater than that nine, so it's an interception. We look at his card, it's intercepted by Bobby Schmatz, okay? So now we're going to move that over and look at Schmatz's card. <clears throat> Four, five. Four, five. Now here we're going with the seven. Okay, so we're going four, <clears throat> six, 
10. Minus 1 is 9, so it's not. It's another interception. This time it's intercepted by the right D, Sean Field. <clears throat> Guys are just going up and down the ice right now. <clears throat> that happens in real, real games. Sean Field's card, 4, 3. <clears throat> this is D3. <clears throat> this is a shot if it's equal or greater than the left and right defense total. 4, 5. It is not another interception. They yeah, call them interceptions, but it could be just turnovers too. Yeah. Okay, back to Schmatz again at the right wing. Moving down this two-minute section is going along pretty quickly. <clears throat> okay, 4-7. Four, 4-7. Seven. Four, seven. That's the at symbol. And I always forget what that at symbol is. I have a time for the shot. If the total pass excites the right that The red die is 3. We're going to look at this pass, not including his. And there's pass rating, pass rating, pass rating, pass rating. It does not exceed it. We've got another chance, turnover, this time to Danny Gear. Gear's going into the four-minute mark. It'll be a change of lines after this. And he's going three, four. And that's that H again. I can't remember all these things. That's good. And it says, shot if home. Well, he's not home. So we're going to go here to there. And it's intercepted by the right D, and we're changing lines. Okay, the lines have changed. It's all abstract. It's like, but except for him, like Edderstrand's down here behind the goal waiting for everybody to change, and they're scrambling around changing too. So he can't change until he gets rid of the puck. So we're going to be looking at him. And it's a 5-4. It's an eight. Okay, so we're going to be looking at two, six, ten, minus one is nine. So it is an interception by the right wing. This is Rick Dudley, and he just scurries off the ice to get changed. So we're looking at Dudley. All of this stuff I'm reading is off of these charts up here. It's, very, it's pretty cool that a lot of that is like that. Okay, we've got 1-8 on Dudley. That's a 9. We're checking the defense again. 3, 5, 7, minus 1 is uh, 6. The 9 beats it, so Dudley is getting a shot. So Dudley's shot rating is or index for normal. There's normal power play, and uh, this is, and if he's playing the point and then shorthanded, is 2-8. Well, we've got 4-10. We know that that is out of range. So we're going to be going over here and looking at Gilbert's card. 1-7. One, 1-7 seven. One, seven is a capital F. That means he held it for a face-off. All right, so we're going to do a face-off here. Let me get you through a few, few more line changes. 2-8. <clears throat> Let's look at the 2-8 chart. We got a back to Peter McNabb <clears throat> with that. We're going to look at McNabb's card. Like I said, I got myself into the habit of doing that, or else I'd forget to tell you the truth. <clears throat> Five, nine. We're going down here to nine. Okay, PPS. Well, one of the S on these is going to matter if they're, on, if they're shorthanded. I believe, oh, no, that's the pe pressure one. But PP is an automatic interception. We don't have to check anything. And it's intercepted by, oops, I took the wrong one again. Second, third, it's this one here. It's intercepted by Terry O'Reilly. Now we're looking at his card. I've done that a couple times. Picked up the wrong one. 5-9. <clears> 5-9. <throat> nine. Five, nine. And there we go. We got a we got a penalty, the X. Okay, if the if the blue die would have been a one or a two, it'd have been a delayed penalty. I believe how that works. But it's not. So what we're gonna do now, I'm gonna show you Terry O'Reilly's card. We're gonna roll. We're gonna roll these. And the five is an odd number, so we're gonna go over here. And there's odd and even, real small up here on the top. And we're gonna go down to twelve, and it's just a dash, which means it's a two-minute warning, two-minute horn. But the one thing they want you to do, and I'm not sure, so, so sure I want to do this all the time, is they want to check and see if he gets a mis misconduct in addition to his two minutes. So you're going to look down here at his misconduct rating, and you see the rating is 1, 5, <clears throat> 2. So we're going to roll them all. And it's a 1, 5, 5. So 
that would not be in range because in order for it to be in range the one is equal to it the five is equal to it but the the red one would have to be what am i looking at o'reilly would have to be a two or a one so it's not so he's getting the penalty this is how i play this now i just take him and put him down one and mixes up the lines a little bit for the rest of the period andre savard gets turned over <coughs> And there we go. And <clears throat> so I, I got to figure out, I think if I'm going to play this, if he's within like 30 seconds of a line change, then he would stay out after that, okay? So here we go with the face off. <clears throat> okay, 4 8. Okay. See, 4 8 says RDPP but that so that PP erases it and sends it over from the home to here so now we're gonna face Jerry Korab King Kong Korab as they used to call him <clears throat> he's a pretty tough player 1-4 we got a D8 <clears throat> which is gonna be a shot if it's greater than the left and right defenses Two, four. Korab's getting a shot on the power play. So now we look down here under P, not N. We see that his his ranges are one, nine, three. <clears throat> Six, three. Out of range. But that, I, it could have mean it was blocked. Have to, so let me see this. Let me check this. No, it wasn't. I'm going to skip over the little process. It was a pretty simple process that I that wasn't blocked. So we're going to roll in here. And we're going 6-4 on his card. 6-4. And it's an FG. It would have been a goal if it was in range, but it isn't. He holds it for a face-off with the F. 3-8. <clears throat> Three eight on that chart. I think we just did that one, didn't we? We did do that one. It goes back to Korab again, and uh, we're changing lines. Okay. Now we're done. This is the fourth line that's coming out here. Now I play this game and a couple other of my hockey games that a line skip is allowed once per period. So. Buffalo, even though they're down one to nothing, would want to skip, maybe wait to skip your skip until a little later on in the period. So that's why I didn't do it. Korhab has not gone off the ice yet. We're looking at his card. <clears throat> Three, ten. And there's a penalty on Korhab. <clears throat> and I don't think this one's delayed either. I think that blue die has to be a one or two to be a delayed penalty. Let me see. Yes, if the blue die had been a one or a two, it would have been a delayed penalty, which means we would have done the pass, and the next guy would have got a shot if it was a shot. If it was anything else but a shot, that would be the end of it. So Korab's gone. <clears throat> They're changing lines anyway, so he's out. Uh, we did change lines, so me and off. I always take the center off. All right, and then we're doing the face-off. <clears throat> You know, and I didn't mark when that other penalty was. Here's what I normally do. Now, for Buffalo, I would have put this down here. And that would be, when it gets to there, it would have been two minutes. So let's do this one here, just for the heck of it. Say that there's still two minutes on their penalty. <clears throat> All right, and I should have changed him. Because he, he had come out. Okay. All right, here we go. Face off. Then they're both even. So we're going to be using even number, even things. Three. 10 and it's going to the left wing Wayne Cashman playing the line four today but he had 11 goals and 22 assists during the, during the season not bad I got him on the fourth line he's the fourth left winger or that scored the least all right so we're looking at Cashman so we're moving this over here okay one eight one eight that's a six. 
So we're looking at this now. We're only doing six against him, so he's got zero one. So Cashman is getting a shot. We're going to use normal because they're even. His normal is range is a two nine, and that's out of range. <clears throat> so we're going to roll again. It's not block. We're going to roll again and look at Bromley's card. Two eight. And that's the little letters again, so it's going back to him, though, Bobby Orr. Now we're looking at the Orr's card, and we're in that, when this is over, this penalty will be over. <clears throat> okay, Bobby Orr. Okay, 2-5. That's a D9. That's definitely going to be a shot. <clears throat> left, deep, left and right defense is only two. All right, here's an Orr. Shot on Orr. And it's a 6-4. That's out of range. His range is a 2-6. We're going to be looking at Bromley's card. <clears throat> and it's a 3-12. And it's being held for a face-off. This penalty is over. He's coming back out under the ice. And here we go. A power, a short power play for these guys now. All right. And we're doing a face-off. Five five. I love my chart up there. And it's going to the right D, Peter McTosh. McIntosh. <laughs> All right, here we go. Moving the timer. Four seven. And that is is the hash mark. Let's see, what do I remember now? I can't remember the hash mark. Oh, and they held it for another face off. This is going to be a defensive zone face-off, though. All right, here we go with another face-off. <clears throat> Five, seven. That one's going back. <clears throat> okay. Don't, the face-off guy don't necessarily have to be in the middle one. It's not just normally your best one. Okay, so now we're looking at his one again, which is going to take us to the end of the period. I mean, the, for change lines, and it's 2 9. And there we go with another face off. We're just facing off like crazy here. <clears throat> but that did end the two minutes mark. So we will be changing lines again. They're still on the power play over here for another 24 seconds. Let's get the face off underway. 1 5. <clears throat> This time it says the, the orange center, but there is no orange center out there, so I'm going to give it to the right center. I think it says, or the, this center, I think it says keep rolling until you do, but I'll have to check on that one. Keep rolling until you get something that works. Okay, so now we're going to be doing, looking at McKegney. I must not have changed his card, because it's not McKegney, I know that. He's not Desposito. Okay, we're going to be looking at Esposito's card. And after this one, the penalty will be over to Buffalo. Six, nine. That's that H again. And that's a shot and a re... No, that's the R. The H is a shot if he's home. He is home. His normal, his power play numbers are six, eight, three in parentheses. So he's getting a shot. <clears throat> so, but it's out of range. Six nine, <clears throat> not blocked. And so we're going to be looking at Bromley's card. Three seven, and this goes to the right wing. <clears throat> Pe penalty is over. Perot's back on the ice, and here we go with. Hodges, I'm going to do th play through this line here, and then we'll call this a wrap. So see where we're at. Yeah, we're at 24 minutes. Let's <clears throat> the wrap. Got any questions? Please put it in the remarks. I will find the answers. I won't guess at them or not. You know, let me know what you think, because this is not as intimidating as when you first look at it. Okay, because that chart just covers everything that I've been doing. All right, here we go. Except for that penalty. All right. <clears throat> Hodges is going 3-5. There's that H again. A shot if it's home. And they are home. They're 
we're up. And his normal numbers are 2, 6. And it's out of range. Okay? <clears throat> if these dice would have added up to 3, you know, it if it was a 3, it could have been blocked. <clears throat> I have to check in that. I don't think that. Let me check that blocks. No, I don't think so. All right, here we go. Four eight, not happening. No, I thought it was out of range. We're looking at his four eight, and it's a rebound, and it's going to be a rebound to the right D. Maybe we got to check the clearing rate. Now the clearing is the left defensive and these small numbers, and so they got a clearing rate of nine. So I'm going to look up here on the clearing chart nine. That's going to give me a dice range of 5, 7 with the 3 in the parentheses. Within range. Okay, so they cleared it. <clears throat> so instead of going to wherever I said he was going here, it's going to this right D. No, it's on that 3. Yeah, we'll do it the right D. I get that a little confused, but that's how that worked. And uh, we had moved up. So now we're at Sean Field's card again. 3-5. There's a D8. Okay, it's 4-5. He has a large, it is bigger than the 8, so Sean Field's getting a shot with his range is 1-3-3. One, 1-3. Two, three. One, three. And that's out of range. And we're going to be checking Gilbert's card again over here. 4-8. Next time is in capital letters. So I got to show you that one too. So instead of going back to them, it goes to Edistran. We're going to check his card here. <clears throat> and 5 2, or 5, five 7. 5 7. This is another possible rebound. All right, so we're going to check the clearing rates on these guys. This is 9 again, so we know it's 5 7 3. And <clears throat> we're going to check the clearing rate. It is cleared. <clears throat> so it's going to be cleared to the left D. Bill Hyatt. We're going after this one, it will be halfway through the period. And Hyatt, we're looking at his card. <clears throat> Six, seven is a two. That is definitely going to work because this is two, three, four. Minus one is three. So it's not going to work. It would have been an interception. And the interception would have went to the center. And then we would have been changing lines again. Well, I hope you've enjoyed the demo. I hope this took some of the uh, apprehension off of anybody that might think that it's way crazy too hard. Because uh, if I can get it, you can get it. Like I made myself a little player aid so far that covers uh, shots on goal, block shots, and clearing checks and rebounds. Now there's probably a couple other things that I have to make while I'm learning this, but I think I'm comfortable enough right now to be able to put it away till the fall when I said I was going to have this one and inside the crease back out as hockey, plus a little, few hockey games. I plan on doing a lot of the hockey, basketball, and football this uh, fall, winter, and spring. So hit that like button down there. Subscribe if you haven't done so yet and push it out into your social media channels. This is SoCal Saber saying thank you for stopping by. Be kind to each other. Take care of yourselves and stay safe.